Word 2013, line and paragraph spacing. As you design your document and make formatting decisions, you'll need to consider the line and paragraph spacing. You can increase spacing to improve readability or reduce it to fit more text on a page. Line spacing is the space between each line in a paragraph. Microsoft Word allows you to customize that line spacing to be either single spaced or double spaced. Single space would be one line high, double spaced is two lines high, or any other amount that you want. But the default spacing in Word 2013 is 1.08 lines, which is a little bit larger than single space. So what we will do is select the text, and I'm going to select this first paragraph here, and the second one as my sample section. On the Home tab, I'll go to the Line and Paragraph group, which is right here, and I can get a drop-down menu to appear when I click on my line spacing. So right here, line and paragraph spacing has a little arrow to the right. And as I move my mouse over each one of those different sizes of spacing, you'll see a live preview in the document. So I can either make a decision from these selections or I could say just add a space before each paragraph or I could remove spaces after paragraph. Again, I get the live preview to see what that looks like. Now if I wanted to give a specific number in here, click out the open, I would go to this little icon in the bottom corner which gives me my paragraph setting options. I can actually fine tune the layout of my current paragraph. This helps me do the indention, the spacing, and even more. So when I click on that, here's my indenting spacing. General alignment right now to the left. The outline level is set to the body text. But you'll see that I have many, many choices. And I can choose the indentation here. We talked about this in the indenting or tab video. Here's my spacing, how much space before, how much space after. If I wanted to click on the arrow and go to exactly, when I choose this option, the line spacing is actually measured in points, just like font sizes. And generally, the spacing should be a little larger than your font size. So, for example, if you're using 12-point text, you could use 15 point spacing. If I go to at least, like that exactly option, this option lets me choose how many points of spacing I want. However, if you have different sizes of text on the same line, the spacing will expand to fit the larger size text. Good to remember. If I select multiple, this option lets me type in the number of line spacings that I want. For example, if I choose multiple and I change the spacing to 1.2, this will make the text a little more spread out than single space text. If you want the lines to be closer together, you can choose a smaller value like 0.9. By default, when you press the Enter key, Word 2013 moves your insertion point down a little further than one line on the page. So I'm going to click right after that word sidebar and has the period. If I move my Enter key, click my Enter key, it will move my insertion point down just a little further than one line on the page. And this automatically creates space between the paragraphs. So just as you can format spacing between lines in your document, you can also adjust spacing before and after paragraphs. This is useful for separating paragraphs, headings, and subheadings. To format your paragraph spacing, in, in our example, we're going to increase the space before a paragraph to separate it from the heading. Here's my heading, paragraph spacing. And this will make the document a little easier to read. 
So if it's like this, all I have to do is put my insertion point at the end here. I'm going to select the paragraph that I want to format. I'm going to select this one. Actually, let me put this other one up a little higher. It'll be better to show you. Okay, so here I have another paragraph here. I'm going to select these two paragraphs right here. And on the Home tab, which I am on right now, I'm going to the Line and Paragraph space. And so here's my paragraph grouping, and this is my Line and Paragraph spacing icon. This is the command for it. If I hover my mouse over and I add a space, before the paragraph, you notice how it shows me the live preview underneath this? And now I have spacing underneath my title and before the paragraph. I can also click on remove the space after the paragraph from this drop down menu. The live preview is very handy because I have not made a selection yet and yet it allows me to see what that would look like if I made that choice. Once I make the choice, then my document will appear with that choice. Now I have my spacing after my title and before each one of those paragraphs. You can use Word's convenient set as default feature to save all the formatting changes you've made and to automatically apply them to new documents. And that is found right here on the icon in the corner. When you make your selection here, you're changing your default when you click Set as Default at the bottom. And that's how easy it is to change the line and paragraph spacing.